Hello everyone, this is just a dad. Today I'm gonna do an unboxing and a setup on this Eufy E340 floodlight camera. Here's everything that comes in the box. Now before we start, this is for installing like on an electrical box on the outside of your house that has the house wiring already installed. It does need 110 volts AC, 60 hertz. So you could take an, you could take an existing floodlight off and then wire this up to where the existing floodlight was. So you may have an electrical box that looks like this with wiring on the inside. Here we have this hook. This is for install, helping you install it, hook up the wires. I'll show you how to use that. Hardware. Now this cable, it doesn't have a battery built in, but we're going to, to set it up inside before you go hook it up outside. This is going to power the device so that we can use our smartphone and install and hook it up and install it in the app. So you don't have to do this on a ladder. Once you've got it set up, then you can just go install it and it should work. We've got two bags of hardware. We even got a little sticker here. So there is a protective, be careful, there's a protective film right here. Let's remove these. These are, these are actual stickers. So let's remove those. Okay, so we also have a protective film right here. Let's remove it. Now this is how it's going to install. The camera is going to be down at the bottom so we can pivot around and track. These are the lights. This is where you're going to mount it to the wall. There is a QR code here you're going to scan to help set it up. So it says first thing, grab this and push down. That's going to release that bracket. Now inside there, it does say you can plug this into 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. The LED output is 19.2 watts. Okay, so when we take this off, that's a terminal strip and it's just held in there with friction. So you can pull that off. We need to mount this bracket. There is an up arrow on it. And then we'll, once we got the bracket mounted, then we'll push this in there and we're gonna hook our wires up. Those are Phillips or straight slot screws that you're gonna release or uh, loosen them, put your stripped wire in there. Again, there's the white one, the middle one's the green wire, and then the black one, and then tighten those down. That'll make the connection. And that's what the hook is for. So once we get this installed, that is a weather tight seal. Your wires will be coming out here. Then you're gonna put this right here, and this is what's gonna hold the light so that you can make the connection. All right, you got the wires coming out, and now the light, you, this is like a third hand being able to hold the light. I mean, you could theoretically hook it there, maybe even right here. You know, there's a couple different places, but it gives you a third hand, which is super, super nice. Now it is very important on this electrical panel or the electrical box that's sticking out. Now these screws may be, they could be any which way. So you wanna make sure it is important about this bracket needs to be pointed up. Okay, so you got to find where the screws line up that you got to kind of poke a hole through that foam. There's a little thing you can, it's kind of um, perforated so you can poke it out, but you'll have to line it up so that this is level and up, depending on where that is. And the bracket overall is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. You can see the screw holes, about a three and a half inches is where they poke out through. And on a standard box, yeah, three and a half inches is right where they're at. Now this seat, the bag of C screws, that can help you screw the, the, if your panel or if your box doesn't have screws, you can use these screws. But B screws are what are gonna mount the side. So when you mount this back on here, you're gonna put screws through there to mount it to the bracket. Now you can take this bracket off and put it up here. All right, let's take this bracket off. There's the screw. You gotta take these little Phillips screws out too. Right here. Now we can take this and now we can position it. There's what that cable looks like. You're just gonna leave the cable, just 
just kind of turn it, now position it like this, put the screws in here and there. You could mount it like this if your electrical box was sticking straight down. You want this to be vertical like this. So probably more than not, you're gonna have it on the back side because you got a, a, a wall, a box on the side of your house and typically not underneath the roof or something. So, but you could put, mount it this way. All right, some measurements. So it sticks out from the wall about five inches. Up down is about eight inches. You know, depending on left to right, depending on where you've got the lights, 13 inches, you know, but it could go a little bit wider, about 14 inches. Again, this is the motion sense, looks like two cameras. One's a telephoto, one's a uh, wide angle. So you can mount those and turn them. A speaker and an alarm. Now let's set it up. That's what this is for up here. It does look, have a little cover here. All right, we have a micro SD slot, a sync button, and a USB-C power. You're only going to plug this in to set it up. And then you'll go wire it up and it should be all connected. So plug this in like this. Let's plug it into our outlet. All right. We've got the little light there, like a purple light. In the Eufy Security app, click on floodlight camera. Okay, I was afraid of that. It's be careful. The camera wants to turn, and I had that kind of tight. So you'll have to plug this in, but we don't want to give it any kind of thing that could break it. Okay, so in the app, you'll scan that QR code on the back. Then you're going to have to press that sync button. You have to kind of press it kind of hard. Please wait. All right, you're going to give it the Wi-Fi network password, and it's connecting. Call. All right, setup was good. Uh, again, it wants to move. I wish it didn't. So there is a sticker here. You could mount this to the side of your house. You would have to run a power cable into that bracket somehow. You know, oops, want to turn again. Okay, setup was successful. And it looks like it does have an update to do. So this does have built-in tracking. It can auto track if somebody walks into its line of sight and it can track them. I hope this unboxing and setup video helped. Thanks everybody for watching.